Yeah, no, I'm sorry. I'm just gonna have to rant for a minute. I do not understand why people with incredible spiritual gifts are unwilling or don't want to accept money for their spiritual gifts. What? <laughs> if I was a brilliant, I don't know, massage therapist, and I gave you an incredible massage and you felt incredible relief, and then I was like, that's it, thanks, bye. You'd be like, that's weird. <laughs> You, no, the proper thing is when you receive an incredible gift from somebody, a service, something that they're good at, you give them money for it. After I get a massage, I am grateful to give my massage therapist money for her to do the thing that she is amazing at because I am very bad at massaging myself, right? I don't understand why spiritual people do this. Actually, I know why, but I don't think it's right. We've been taught since I don't know where it's like in our culture but that like spirituality should be free or that there should be no compensation for it and I really think that comes from an incredible wounding uh in our culture I know many of us are um escaping from a kind of puritanical over Christian sort of this is how things have to be dogmatic religion many of us have spiritual wounds and because of that, maybe we do have a spiritual gift. Maybe it it caused us to look around and find another uh, way of doing things, which opened up a gift for us, something we discovered about ourselves that is incredibly valuable to other people. And we were told that spirituality should be free because the truth is connection to spirit doesn't cost anything. I don't need a priest. I don't need a church. I don't need anything except my own open heart. That's it. That's the truth. But we confuse that with spiritual gifts, right? I can go out and um, pray all I want to and do all the rituals that I want to. But I tell you, it's much better to do that. It's much nicer to do that in a place that is set aside for that, right? Or to go and see a person who is an expert in this, who can help me make sense of the material that I'm downloading and that I'm experiencing from spirit that can help me discern my own truth from my own ego, right? How many crazy people have been told that God wants them to do this, but really it was their own selfishness or narcissism that caused them to harm other people. Spirit would never ask us to do that. That doesn't make sense, right? But when we don't have somebody to help, we don't have a way to figure out the truth of it. So we come from this wounded place where the connection between money and spirit, you know, gets in the way. But that doesn't mean we shouldn't be compensated for our gifts. And I'll tell you where the, the difficulty is. If you work with the chakra system, you understand that it's these sort of top uh, three, the heart, the throat, the third eye, the crown. So maybe the top four that are um, considered the more spiritual. This is what people work on. They forget the bottom ones. They forget the root, the sacral, and the willpower. Right? And then they're wondering why they're blocked in their business. They're wondering why they're not making any money. They're wondering why people are not drawn to them because you're not working on all seven cylinders, right? You're only working on a few cylinders and not, and these are the ones that keep us ungrounded and the ones that prevent us from manifesting money. Or we think if we hang out here that everything will be okay. And actually it's called spiritual bypassing. It means we're skipping the hard work, which is down below dealing with feelings of shame dealing with guilt, dealing with our own sense of not being perfect, of not getting our gift out there because we are not good enough, instead of understanding that we are beings grounded in the earth. We must be a bridge from earth to starry heaven. We can't just hang out in space. We're not space beings. <laughs> I love spirituality. It's important to me, but we are also people of the earth and we need money. <laughs> money is our exchange of energy. It's how the world goes around here. And to deny your own gifts, to not receive money and make a incredible impact, right? How do you measure your impact? How do I know how well I'm doing? How do I know how many people I've served? Money is a measure. It's an indicator of that. It is not the only reason. I must be ethical. <laughs> I can't just sell myself to the highest bidder, right? I have gifts. I have integrity. Integrity is being in all of your chakras. It's being open above and below. Don't forget your below. So if somebody wants to pay you for the incredible time, expertise, um, 
things that you can manifest for them, the, the things that have made a difference in them, let them stop doing work for free. That's not how we live. Okay, I love you, goddess. Talk to you later. Bye.